Hello and welcome again to another guide and tutorial. This time we are going to talk about server side and forced uh, player names. It's a very important function for admins who want to keep the UI for spectators as clean as possible. Valve has been using it for their mages as well. Um, obviously, if some player has some weird characters or has some uh, weird variation of their name or just any variation of their name, it will be replaced by the official version, which is uh, set in a certain text file and it will be overwritten. So anyone who joins the server will see the overwritten, the forced name of that player and not the name he set in his Steam account. Now this is this uh, has become actually very easy to set up. On the 31st October uh, this year, 2017, Valve released an update where they added a new function, a new command where you can do exactly that. You can create a text file and assign certain names to certain Steam accounts. And today I'm going to show you how that works. So the first thing obviously is to create a text file. So I have one prepared right here. Uh, when creating the text file, I want you to copy um, my template into the file. You can find the template in the, in the description. I will link my Steam guide in the description. Copy the template into the text file. Um, I have one prepared right here, as I said. Um, Obviously here we have the title names and then we have two columns. This is one column, this is the second column. The first column will contain the Steam account, the Steam ID 64 of that Steam account to be more precise. So if you want to assign a certain name to a certain account, first we have to figure out which account are we talking about. It, it, this is very easy to figure out just go uh, to that steam profile and up here you will either see a uh, steam url where the steam id 64 is already in the url or in this case i am using a custom url so if this is the case for you just copy the url and go to steamid.io, paste the link, click on lookup, and you get the steamid64 right here. And you can click here to copy it to your clipboard. Now that we have the steamid64, we ju just can paste it in here into the quotation marks. It's already actually in here. And now that we're done. With the first column we can edit this second column we have set this we have set now the steam account so we know which steam account are we talking about now we can freely set the name for that steam account now because uh i am currently already named exactly sasha we are going to take uh something else um i don't know Basically, you would want to have a clean name, but I guess I have to take a different example. Oops. Use go is best. And obviously, you can edit the file into um, Oblivion. You can add as many Steam accounts as you want. As you can see, I have set names forced player names for three steam profiles for three players so if these three people would connect on the server they would receive the name which is assigned here all right we have the file ready um another thing the name of the file is not important it just has to be a text file so now we have the file ready now where do we put it that's very easy you just take your file 
and open up your FTP browser of your choice for your Cisco server. And what you want to do is go to the root directory of your Cisco server. The root directory will have the CFG folder, the maps folder, materials models, and so on. This is the directory you want to place the names file in, or rather upload. So here we go. If you're done with that, you have to add the actual command, which will use the text file for assigning names. The command is called SV load force client names file. Um, the exact command can be found again in the link in the description in the steam guide. You can copy it from there. You have to add this command as a server launch parameter. Uh, I'm going to show you how, what exactly that means. Now, the uh, interface will be obviously different for everyone, but um, just go to, uh, to your server settings and edit. You have to add a, um, here are all the uh, startup server parameters. And you have to add another one, which is the command plus SV load forest client names file. I forgot the names. Now you put into quotation marks, in this case I don't have to, but if you're working with console, put it in a, into quotation marks. Uh, you have to uh, tell what file it has to read. In, th in this case, I named the file names, and very important, do not forget .txt. The file extension is very important. You have to add it, otherwise it probably won't work. Now we got, can save it. And if you boot up the server the next time, or uh, if you change the level, players which have a Steam, uh, excuse me, which have a name assigned by the file will have that name shown in the server. Now I can show the same thing on a Cisco client. It works on the CSGO server, but it also works in-game. That means you can put a name file into your root game directory and load names from there as well. Um, I'm going to use this method just to demonstrate how this works. So we are going to launch Counter-Strike now. So here we are in game. As I said, if you're a server operator and you want to add the command to your server, your dedicated server, it's a server launch parameter. That means um, you add the command plus sv uh, load force client names file. In game, you don't have to do that. We just can type in the command. Um, what was it? As we load, excuse me. Now, into quotation marks, the file. And hit enter. Now we can load the map. So, as you can see, the name has not actually changed yet. Sometimes, sometimes it works, 
right from the start in game sometimes it doesn't in this case if it doesn't just type in the command again there we go if you do not get an error you did everything right the file was loaded and also it says that three client names are loaded to enforce so if you did that uh, you just have to change the level to any level you want and after the change the name um, the name assigning will actually take effect you will see that right now if I'm going to join any team now I am actually having the name CSGO is best which is the name we have assigned in the text file. So there you go. It, an easy way to uh, force and clean up player names, especially for a competitive environment for lands and online tournaments. Very useful. I hope this video helped. Um, if you did enjoy the video and if it did help you, please like and subscribe. It would help a lot. If you want to have more content like this, please leave a comment. You can leave a comment on what you want to see next uh, because that would be interesting to know. Um, I am myself mainly not having enough ideas. So if you want to know anything regarding administration of Cisco servers, just write a comment on YouTube and I either make a video or if it's just a minor thing, I can answer your question in the comment section. Thanks for watching and enjoy.